If I wanted it to survive, I would have taken a different approach to it from the very beginning. Um, I would have used different paints. Um, I would have used perhaps slightly different processes. Or perhaps in the end it was that kind of thing that can never really survive its usage because art on a wall can be taken care of. I want this to be used as a, as a um, real piece of furniture and I should have used dyes instead of paint. This is just household paint but for me it was cheap. Uh, it served its purpose and in fact I wanted it to crack and it is actually doing that just let me show you can you see yes you can see a little bit there how it's beginning to crack um, so sometimes as I'm paint uh, painting I actually refresh uh, some parts and others I change sometimes I sand it down um, and sometimes I give it a new look completely um, I'm not really a hundred percent sure where, where I'm going with this um, because sometimes I like the process to actually dictate to me where I don't actually have that control that maybe I might like with other pieces of work. Um, I like to, um, these times I like to have to just respond and react. Um, and this piece of furniture was definitely one of those. Um, I'm actually thinking, but you know, I have to wait and see how it develops. Like in in this bit here, you know, I'm thinking all of these little cracks can actually be part of the artwork as another layer, or maybe I can just sand it down until it comes to that uh, situation where everything that's left on it is firmly uh, just stuck and won't peel and then build up and then sand and then build up. That's one of the things I'm thinking as possibilities so that it's changing constantly, that this is not a piece of furniture that that or a piece of art that is is that is constant, other than its ability to change. If you know what I mean. Anyway, these things excite me. This is to me where I feel in my element, and it's not about. It's not about. Not all art is about. Uh, placing them on walls or. Uh, getting a price for them or. Or even finishing them sometimes because this will never be finished. It will always need more put into it. And I will come to this to the to the um, stage where I'll just say, well, okay, that's it. Moving on. But in the meantime, this has a lot to teach me and I'm enjoying uh, sharing the process. Uh, and I'm enjoying the responses um, but I do think a lot of people don't understand that it's never meant to last so now you know <laughs> so from now on on a regular basis now I will you know it might be really boring I don't know but I'm kind of quite excited about just going through my thought processes as I'm working. Let's see how it goes.